3i atlas is about to swing by and a fleet of camera ready rovers and orbiters are standing by to snap some pictures something extraordinary happened on october 3rd 2025 when the mysterious interstellar object 3i atlas made its closest approach to mars just 18 million miles away but here's what makes this story absolutely mind-blowing within hours of this historic flyby nasa's website went completely dark not a technical glitch, not scheduled maintenance, a complete government shutdown that silenced America's space agency at the exact moment we needed answers most. Most important question is whether it could be technological or it's just natural. Hopefully we'll know more within the coming days. Even more shocking, amateur astrophotographers had already downloaded raw images from NASA's Mars rovers, showing a faint smudge exactly where 3 I Atlas was supposed to be. The timing feels almost too convenient, especially when you consider that this isn't just any space rock. This is an object that's been defying every law of physics we thought we understood, glowing bright green when it shouldn't, packed with metals that make no sense, and following a trajectory so perfectly straight it looks almost intentional. There's the unusual chemical signatures, it's producing way more nickel than iron and scientists don't really know why. What NASA doesn't want you to see might change everything we know about our place in the universe. If you're fascinated by space mysteries that challenge everything we thought we knew, hit that subscribe button because we're diving deep into stories the mainstream media won't touch. Let me paint you a picture of just how bizarre this whole situation really is. 3i Atlas, that's what scientists are calling this visitor from another star system, made its closest approach to Mars on October 3rd. This was supposed to be humanity's best chance to get detailed images and data about what might be the most unusual object ever detected in our solar system. Multiple Mars orbiters were perfectly positioned. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter with its high-rise camera, the European Space Agency's Mars Express, and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. These spacecraft were lined up like front-row seats at the cosmic event of the decade. But then something unprecedented happened. Just as the data should have been flowing in, NASA's official website displayed an official statement. Due to the lapse in federal government funding, NASA is not updating this website. 15,000 NASA employees were sent home without pay. The agency that put humans on the moon, that explores the furthest reaches of space, suddenly went completely silent at the most critical moment. Here's where it gets really interesting. While NASA's official channels went dark, citizen scientists weren't sitting idle. An astrophotographer named Simeon Schmaus took matters into his own hands. He accessed publicly available raw images from NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars and started stacking multiple exposures together. What he found was absolutely stunning. A faint smudge of light in the Martian sky, positioned exactly where 3 I Atlas was predicted to appear. Think about the incredible timing here. We have an object that's been baffling scientists for months, making its closest approach to another planet in our solar system, and America's space agency, the organization with the most advanced space technology on Earth, suddenly can't tell us what they're seeing. It's like having the world's best detective go silent, just as they're about to solve the biggest mystery of the century. But let's talk about why 3i Atlas is so absolutely mind-boggling in the first place. This object differs significantly from conventional space debris. When astronomers first spotted it back in July, they thought they had a handle on what they were dealing with, just another interstellar comet like the ones we'd seen before. However, this initial assessment proved to be significantly inaccurate. First, th there's the size issue. Early estimates suggested 3i Atlas might be around 1,400 feet long, already massive by interstellar standards. But as more data came in, scientists realized they had dramatically underestimated this thing. We're now looking at an object that could be over three miles long. To put that in perspective, that's bigger than most mountains. It's not just large, it's absolutely colossal compared to previous interstellar visitors. Umamua, the first confirmed interstellar object we detected, was maybe 2,000 feet long. Borisov, the second one, was even smaller. But 3i Atlas? It's potentially a thousand times more massive than both of them combined. 
Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has been sounding the alarm about this, pointing out that statistically, we should have seen dozens of smaller objects before encountering something this monumentally huge. The fact that we haven't suggests something very unusual is going on. Then there's the chemical composition that has scientists scratching their heads. When three eye atlas started glowing bright green in telescopic images, astronomers initially weren't too concerned. Comets turn green all the time when carbon molecules in their outer layers get hit by ultraviolet radiation from the sun. It's a well-understood process involving diatomic carbon, basically two carbon atoms bonded together. But here's the massive problem. 3i Atlas doesn't have any diatomic carbon. Every major telescope that's observed this object has confirmed it. There's no C2 present. So why is it glowing green? According to our current understanding of physics and chemistry, it shouldn't be possible. What 3i Atlas does have is massive amounts of carbon dioxide, way more than any normal comet should contain. Most comets are primarily water ice with some CO2 mixed in. But 3i Atlas is the complete opposite. It's loaded with CO2 and has very little water vapor. It's like finding a car that runs on orange juice instead of gasoline. Technically possible, but completely backwards from what we'd expect. And then there's the metal content that has everyone completely baffled. 3i Atlas is spewing nickel into space, lots of it. Now, comets do contain metals, but they only release them when they get extremely close to the sun, where temperatures are hot enough to vaporize metal. 3i Atlas was releasing nickel when it was still way out between Mars and Jupiter, where it's nowhere near hot enough for this to happen naturally. And Avi Loeb has pointed out something that makes this even more intriguing. Rocket engines are typically made from nickel-rich alloys, and when they burn, they produce both nickel exhaust and CO2 exactly what we're seeing from 3i Atlas. Now, Loeb isn't saying it's definitely aliens, but he's asking the hard questions that other scientists seem reluctant to address. The movement patterns of 3i Atlas are equally mind-boggling. Since it was first detected in May, this object has maintained an almost perfectly straight trajectory. That might not sound weird until you understand how real comets behave. As comets heat up approaching the sun, they release gas that acts like tiny thrusters, constantly pushing them around in space. It's called non-gravitational acceleration, and it's completely normal. Borisov, the most normal of our interstellar visitors, was bouncing around by over 300 feet per day on average. Comet Hale-Bopp, one of the biggest comets in our solar system, moved around by about 30 feet per day. But 3i Atlas? It's only varying by about 5 feet per day incredibly stable for something that should be getting pushed around by massive gas jets. It's moving so precisely that you could almost say it looks intentional, like something actively maintaining course rather than just drifting through space. Now, here's where things get absolutely wild. Some researchers have connected 3i Atlas to one of the greatest mysteries in the history of radio astronomy, the WOW signal. Back in 1977, Astronomers at Ohio State University detected an incredibly powerful radio signal that lasted exactly 72 seconds. It was so shocking that the scientist reviewing the data just wrote, wow, on the printout. This signal was broadcasting on the hydrogen line, 1420 megahertz, which is considered the universal frequency that any advanced civilization would use to communicate across the galaxy. The signal required enormous amounts of energy to transmit across interstellar space the kind of power you'd need if you could harness the energy of a star. Here's the incredible coincidence. Astronomers have traced 3i Atlas's trajectory backward through space, and it appears to have come from the same general direction as the WOW signal, the constellation Sagittarius. In 1977, when that signal was detected, 3i Atlas would have been on the outer edge of our solar system, far beyond Pluto's orbit. Could this object have been announcing its arrival almost 50 years ago? It sounds like science fiction, but the mathematical alignment is undeniable. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the government shutdown continues to restrict NASA's public communications. Over 3,000 employees are still working on essential projects, primarily the Artemis Moon Program. But scientific missions and public communications remain completely frozen the European Space Agency has been more transparent, confirming that their Mars orbiter successfully observed 3i Atlas during its closest approach, 
but they haven't released any detailed findings yet. What makes this situation even more suspicious is the timing. The Trump administration has proposed massive cuts to NASA's science budget, nearly 50% reduction in funding for scientific research. Some lawmakers are warning that these cuts could permanently damage America's ability to make world-leading discoveries in space science. 20 robotic missions currently operating throughout the solar system could be shut down permanently, representing over $12 billion of taxpayer investment. Is the shutdown really about budget disputes? Or is there something about 3i Atlas that certain people don't want the public to know? The European Space Agency represents our best hope for getting real answers. Their Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter were perfectly positioned to capture high-resolution images and spectroscopic data during the flyby. In November, ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer will get another chance to observe 3i Atlas as it continues toward the Sun. But here's what's really fascinating. 3i Atlas is now heading toward the opposite side of the Sun from Earth. For the next several months, we'll have no direct view of this object. If it really is just a natural comet, we'll see it emerge on the other side, following predictable physics. But if it's something else, something capable of changing course, we might find it waiting for us in a completely different location. The scientific community remains deeply divided. Mainstream astronomers insist that 3i Atlas is simply an unusual but natural comet from another star system. They argue that we're seeing rare but explainable phenomena that we just don't fully understand yet. Jonathan McDowell from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics has stated that suggestions of artificial origin are laughed at by people who are actual comet experts. But Avi Loeb and his team at Harvard continue to raise uncomfortable questions. The statistical improbability of encountering such a massive object as our third interstellar visitor. The unexplained chemical composition, the impossibly stable trajectory, the connection to the WOW signal. Each piece of evidence might have a natural explanation, but when you put them all together, the picture becomes increasingly difficult to explain through conventional science. What we're witnessing might be the most significant moment in human history. First contact with technology from another civilization. Or it might be an incredible natural phenomenon that will revolutionize our understanding of how the universe works. Either way, the American people deserve answers, not government silence at the most critical moment. The truth about 3i Atlas is out there, 18 million miles away from Mars and heading toward the Sun. Whether we get those answers depends on whether our scientific institutions can overcome political interference and do what they were created to do, explore the unknown and share their discoveries with the world. What do you think is really going on with 3i Atlas? Is this the most unusual comet ever discovered? Or could we be looking at something far more extraordinary? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Smash that like button if this story blew your mind, and make sure you're subscribed because we'll be following this story as it develops.